welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up today we're going to look at R4P17 from the Saga Legends. Uh, before we look at it here, we look at the packaging. So there's R4P17. Put it back there. And as you see, yeah, it's the Saga Legends line. On the back, you got stuff in the movie, the descriptions, and other figures from the wave. I'll show you the short bio. It says R4P17 is Obi Wan's astromech droid. Of course, that's a still from Attack of the Clones, when Obi Wan tries to contact Coruscant using R4. Uh, most of that, most of you'll probably know of R4 as the droid that had her head ripped off, had the dome ripped off by Buzz droids in Revenge of the Sith, as well as being the one that accompanies Obi Wan. And uh, like most Saga Legends again, there's really short articulation. There's a swivel dome and swivel legs. There's no articulation, not articulation of things ankles or any third leg that comes out the bottom. As it's just a stand there. And again, there's not really that many features across the side. There's just really the paint on of R four with the Got the hands that go in there and the the doors to all the tools compartments that are similar to what R2 D2 will have. And if you're gonna keep the droid straight, you actually have to keep it at a certain position as though the leg would be out. So it's kinda of like it's kinda of like a Lego version of Astromech droids. Is there a bit like this, you don't get the third leg. You know, to just imagine it's there. So that's kind of the thing, because this, this is actually works as being a pilot droid. Because I have the, I have one Jedi Starfighter and I'm able to actually fit R4 in there and have Obi-Wan pilot with this droid in there. I do like the dark red shades that this droid has for the dome. Along with the grey spot areas for the, for the spots, for the, for the, like all the program blocks and everything and all the printing for R4 so so yeah although being a poorly articulated figure it has it has some decent qualities of the detail and also like I said again the fact like it's had from a shock trooper review the fact how it can, it can go nicely on the display stand because the one I chose to put in the Starfighter I've got because it's a Soaker Starfighter so I've got a Soaker and R3 in there so I left R4, R4 out of it now she just stands on the stands on the shelf, the normal droid. So that was another short review, just to fill in again. So I'll see you next time.